What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead of War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode, we have busted through Kdansk and we are on to Königsberg. We're going to attack the city. Uh, they have some troops nearby to help to potentially uh, protect, uh, save them from defeat. However, that will not be enough. We have reinforcements, but I don't think we are going to need them. They have a significant cavalry component inside the city, which is generally a recipe for disaster. So let's take them out. Um, but apart from that, things have gone very well. I think I'm going to start to throttle my um, my transfer of terrain to the Bavarian Empire. Um, because I, I'm afraid of them eventually turning on me. That's not something we have to worry about yet. Anyway, let's get this battle done with. We're advancing on all, on all fronts. The, the Russian Empire will soon be ours, and now we're going to start preparing for war with um, Austria, as well as the invasion of India via Goa. Beautiful, crisp, clear day. We have a huge amount of artillery available and that means I'm probably going to focus my attacks to be head on so let's put so let's create two breaches we'll put an NG, engineer unit plus two infantry units um, into each breach I want my militiamen to try and secure the gate you know, that's, that's a fool's mistake Two militia plus one line to push one flank, two fusiliers and one line to push the other. Cavalry is not going to be super useful. That's one thing I am going to want to do, is make sure I am hitting that cavalry contingent in the centre. There's a lot of quick climb in the air. Oh, there we go. significant damage done there. We are going to try and knock out there. Well, we're going to knock, knock some holes in the wall. It would appear they may wish to push our line. So let's get my assault divisions position themselves ahead of the guns. Any reinforcements coming in from the far corner, which I don't think they're going to come after us, but let's deploy my... So you guys just hold fire for now. My howitzers are going to be primed for another volley into the centre, which can destroy more cavalry. Okay, we lost one gun there, but I don't think we're lacking for artillery firepower. Good hit, killed some men here that were trying to go down the... Oh my god, okay, right. Free target. Actually, I might get you guys working on... Round shot working on this section of the wall. Start to cause damage. Let's see if we can actually trap some units on the wall. Because that could be quite the wheeze. Okay, right. Now the trick is you guys aim for that section. Howard's aim for this section because they're almost. It's almost been destroyed. So a couple of Howard's shots will be more than enough to finish it off. No! Why have you... Why were you targeting that unit of howitzers? What a waste. What a waste. You guys are aiming at that section. Hmm. Yeah, it seems to have properly... freaked out a little there. Maybe they're suiciding.
good hit. Oh, it says knock out this section of wall, please. Nope, they went after the howitzers again. It's so weird. I mean, this never used to be a problem with Empire. They used to be... Oh, they've done it again. Yeah, it's... I think they have gone for it. We've killed a bunch of armed citizenry. Sadly, nothing more spicy than that. Let's get our uh, howitzers to target specific units rather than the uh, the breach itself, or rather than the wall itself, because we have plenty of firepower to begin our advance. I mean, you men can begin. To, you, I suppose you guys are going to square off against reinforcements coming in. With cavalry support. Okay, I might get my howitzers to focus on this flank and also keep hitting. No, actually, no, one of you needs to keep hitting this section of the breach. And your foot artillery just decides that he don't want to shoot anymore. yet. We may get some traps up there, including Union of Grenadiers, if they elect to be silly. You men reload. There's no they have very little experience in this army. Will they realise what's happening to them? I mean, these mercenaries are in for some pain. Armed citizenry, line infantry, Nanovsky line infantry. Um, yeah, these guys are not going to be able to stop us. Okay, here goes the wall. What? Have you guys just... What if, who, who have you shot at? I know I put fire will on, but I gave you instructions. You had orders. Ideally, I'd like to these guys. I want these guys thinned out so I can get my fusiliers up here without too many casualties. And I can send some line infantry up here to engage this handful of troops in combat. To be honest, I may actually just give give these guys orders. The fusiliers may get rushed by the enemy cavalry, but that's okay. We have our trap. Okay, they're electing to charge along our line. Quicklime's still doing some work against the enemy. Howitzers with the enemy's centre. We're engaging. Hussars, although they're already broken. It looks like they might actually push out of the city. The general's bodyguard's coming in. You're lucky my engineers have finished. Or they, they've emptied their muskets. Okay, what I might actually do is give you guys orders to take the wall because we may actually be able to stop their uh, line infantry guards from getting in, getting into the city at all okay you men might need to charge into the back of the militia just to make sure they do fall 
other than that, the 144th, get ready to advance. So you men pour fire onto the militia here. Engineers form square. Get my general over here. Dump you guys into square in front of the breach. Yeah, they got some grenadiers out here. But I think we're going to be able to take the war. Take the. Uh... Okay, right. No, you. That's a. That's a negative on the the wall rush plan. All my artillery engage the foot guards. You are within range. So these guys fire it will on. Put some shots into the cavalry. We're getting vanilla sound because I'm getting some sound. Get some barbs. Other than that, keep pushing. He meant to pour volley fire into the enemy infantry. My lances are going to flank. Charge. How it's a ceasefire. Yeah, they're winning decisively. So let's commit some infantry. To that. Let's make sure my other infantry is actually continuing to scale the walls. You men cease your firing and push. Engage the engineers. You men engage the armed citizenry. And then my engineers also engage their engineers. Bring my lancers in to hit, hit the enemy on the flank. Looks like though, for the most part, they are going to be breaking and running. Keep killing the grenadiers. Everyone else just push off the walls. Even the fusiliers who aren't exactly tip-top shooters. New men. Push the wall. Okay, that's the line of the guards routed. My lancers push the Cossacks. who have been engaged by our musketry. You men just get inside the fort. Same with the cavalry. Here's you men, men, man, one gun position. You men... Charge them in the rear. I suppose my general is actually at. Yeah, he is at, he's at risk. He's getting shot at. You guys need to get in. So if things actually. Where are you coming from? Ah, the regiment of foot. Well, once we get inside the walls, hopefully, you're not going to be as much of a problem. This unit's going to cease fire and they're just going to keep the tick going. We need to just kill some of these enemy infantrymen that are bogging us down. Actually, you may need to secure this gatehouse first. Just claim it. Stop them from crossing over. Ultimately, you guys need to form up and get ready just to start engaging the men on the top, the grenadiers. Now you guys are climbing up the grappling, oh, well, climbing up the hooks. Okay, right, you men, so you men kill the armed citizenry. Let's 
Something like that. Just kill the last two. Um, citizenry. Actually, you're not even... We are no longer kicking down. Okay, form up. There we go. Get up on the wall. Oh, did you get charged? You did get charged by the line infantry guards, although they will not save you. You men secure the gate. We'll secure that section of the wall at speed. You may lose some comrades. As long as you get up there before these guys hope we do anything sneaky. Well, the Grenadiers are doing well, but they're frightened. Are you guys going to scale the walls? No, nope, we're going to try and charge in, and that will result in your downfall. You will not even make it into the gate, into the breach. Oh, we are here. Bad luck, fellas. 146, they're actually making ready. Too late. Too late. Had your chance. Muffed it. Good morning. Nice. Hey, we've executed an enemy agent. That's even better. But yeah, just knock off the remaining guys outside the wall. And the new champs repair. You replenish, you push out. Actually, you're not that far off of being completely done as well. Actually, you men push on to Yogava. You're pushing on to Minsk. I mean, it's just... Just so exposed. Sebastian Chisano. You are on your way. In terms of cavalry, get one light sharpshooter unit, plus one regiment of horse. Just keep recruiting. Um, we've got a few turns to burn before they start actually getting... Well, they start to get more of the units that are actually useful for us. You may actually push up. Demetrio Barba. Barbosa! Yes. Okay, let's get some. Uh, is there anything. There's nothing quick that we're going to be able to get hold of easily. Yeah, to be honest, you may as well stay where you are. Um, just a second. Apologies for that. Uh, right, so you are pushing on around. You're still building up your position. Carlos Cow. Just build themselves up to be a decent little interruption force. You're forming up into a nice army there. I mean, they're going to really hate us until we get our church school up and running even more. Although we are actually... No, no, we are, we are generating it across the board. Generating positive Catholic pressure. You're recruiting, but you need... So that's five units being recruited. Let's take this smaller unit and combine it into some others. don't think you guys are enough. But they're combining nonetheless. That's some elite infantry, which is what we want. But then we start... We also want... Start recruiting a massive infantry because we want some... We want a garrison of Moscow. 
so that we can put pressure on to St. Petersburg from the east, especially trying to control this crossing here. I mean, you are going to be useful as a force to kind of threaten Nyasi from the east down the line. Apart from that, though, everything looks quite, looks quite good. Let's get our agent out of here. Give them a long walk to Finland. You're going to need to start to understand what the Swedish position looks like. So in terms of trade... Just send one ship to examine. Okay, they're all friendly here. So we are reaching a point where I can actually send... I'm actually having battle fleets, or I'm able to send battle fleets out. Like you. Secure West Africa for our empire. So you're going to be the bones of another fleet. Okay. Something like that. Fundamenta, you could probably be broken up into two trade ships. And I may actually move a rocket ship over to this top tier fleet to examine what that's like. But yes, if I had to, let's break out on fourth rate. Plus another fourth rate. So let's go for a third and a fifth to you. Third and a fifth for you. I'm reluctant to send thirds out to be trade fleets. We are recruiting more galleons up here, aren't we? Pretty darn sure. We are indeed. But still, more galleons, more better. Brig, Brig of War, Galley. Well, no, we've gone through this before, haven't we? Can't actually, or it's difficult to recruit. Might not even be able to get to galleons on this screen because there's so many possible options, in which case recruit an additional two privateers each. The force here at Tangiers is growing to a decent colonial army. All of you guys are still recruiting. At max chat as well. You, or actually that's all you need to complete your army. Same here with you. Okie dokie. You're gonna. Oh, you're out of range to hit Memel. So we're not gonna do that just yet. Crack off. Make sure you're being destroyed. You are. Everyone else is progressing. So let's hit end turn. As all my agents scamper forward, including, <laughs> including agents in the. Off in the Americas, and that army up in Agbituk needs to be extricated from that action, that's for sure. Looks like the Austrians are falling back from Turkey. Aha! You're sending your religious agents to transfer my people into the Muslim religion. It's not going to happen, good sir. The Russian navy is gathering their strength, as is the Russian army. I think that's going to give our forces in Königsberg a clear run towards our next two targets. But yeah, this is why... Yeah, that is prime reason why I want more troops. More troops in uh, in Moscow. They're not doing as much raiding as I would have imagined. Well, I say that and they immediately raid. It's one large army to our east we need to knock out. I'm 
curious about whether I'll get the opportunity to attack the... Interesting, very interesting. But I'm not going to give up Ceylon, even though Sindh and Rajputana is not actually a bad offer. Although that's only Nerun and... Nerun and someone else. They're not exactly... None of them are a big city. It's not a Medabad down here. No. Feel free to be disappointed, Marathas. We're on our way to conquer you. Hello. Very well. Here come the Persians again. Um, not yeah, I'm not like I said. I'm not overly bothered about making sure we attack Persia. I would rather just we kind of hold them at bay for now. They can't attack through uh, Ottoman territory, so they have to come at us straight on. And once the Dagestan population have chilled out a bit, that'll be two full stacks we've got ready to throw back any Persian push. Not that I'm expecting much from them. I don't want to get caught up in the town, and I want to deploy over here. Although over here is actually might be marginally better from a firepower perspective. Let's deploy something like this. Group all my Mikule together with a mixture of cavalry on the flank. I'm fairly sure it's actually the reinforcements that are the more conventional fighting force. Might even deploy one gun team back here. I mean, my howitzers are going to do some terrible, terrible things to them. So I do want to spread out this flank. Oh, gee. Oh. Holy, holy. Okay, right, right. Deploy, deploy, deploy. 12 pound howitzers. Every, all my howitzers just drop quick climb on this thing here. My infantry are going to be more than capable of blowing the bejesus out of these fellas. They attacked us. Just keep dropping quick climb right here. Because <laughs> they're going to all be coming in. Engineers, infantry, rockets. Oh, danger close. Going for the general's bodyguard, but they're not going to get there in time. Grenadiers form square. Okay. Recover from square. Sadly, we are getting... Okay, right. Sounds come back. Then my artillery engage these at leisure. Skirmish cavalry. They may get a, vo a volley of bow fire against us. Okay, let's begin targeting some of their actual infantry units with quickline rather than relying on area effects. It's General's bodyguard, Afghan hillmen. Engage the mercenaries. More quick climb, more rocket fire. Oh, you're aiming at their artillery now. Not a sausage. <laughs> Canister to shot the mercenaries because they're coming in at point blank range. We don't have shrapnel shot. This was a significant strategic error on your part. You need the most backup. Let's get my cavalry out on the flank. Rockets away. Back at the artillery. Yep. Yeah. 
killed some of their infantry. Well, some of the crew. It's kind of the wrong time to push my household cavalry away. Blasted the nomads away, but the square formation will probably deal with them. Switch to round shot. Focus on the nomads. A lot of enemy retreats, and lots of the enemy are retreating. Switch to round shot. Engage the camel gunners at point blank range. Massive enemy retreat. We target the howitzers. Charge the Afghan hillmen. It is likely the enemy will oh, close rocket attack. Very upset by that they are. Gun Hillman is shattered. Enemy infantry is incredibly upset. How oh, it's a fire. Switch to round shot, engage the camel nomads. I know the camels are coming. You're going to engage the nomads. this infantry's job just to make sure these guys stay shattered didn't even make it to our line push up my infantry oh it says gang up on the 20th Canister shot the ninth because they're right here. Yeah, got a bit good hit right there. See, this is what happens when we. <laughs> oh, this is what happens when you don't mass against us in proper numbers. Ceasefire. Good to be able to shot. Now, where are these. Where is this gun crew? Although here's the camel nomads. How it says round shot the camel nomads if you have capacity. Ooh, rocket artillery in the night. So you can't target rocket artillery. these guys to fire a round shot to try and see if we can get some uh, actual experience with them because right now the problem is we are we kill the enemy so efficiently they <laughs> we don't actually get enough kills they just route and run so there's no one else on the field except for these guys you broke the camels, but keep killing them so that they shatter. There you go, we've pushed up to engage the ninth. They are not long for this world. Push my household cavalry into the Feline Musketeers. Actually, no. Curassier. Actually, where's my other cavalry? You men go. For the ninth, how oh, it's a ceasefire. No, don't shoot, get in melee style. There we go. So we should expect to see a maybe not run. 
The rockets stop firing. Continue. Let's see if I can get my general F1 experience level. There we go. Because yeah, when your general gets experience, I believe it does improve some of their some of their stats, so it kind of means they're less likely to die. I mean, not a guarantee, because my generals always die. Actually, go for the ninth. You go for the ninth. You go for them. Actually, go for the ninth, all of you, because you might actually kill them. And you did. Loads of cavalry means super pathfinding, which means this unit's definitely going to die. Even though it's all spread out. I mean, I'd like to try and get peace with Persia, but I don't think they're going to go for it. Even after a chunk of their army just got slaughtered. One last guy. Yeah, I wouldn't say it was heroic. It was slightly shameful, the degree of slaughter. It lost 92 men. Yeah, back you guys go. I am willing to pursue peace. Not against you, Colin. You're going to be down for the count. We're going to put you down. Yeah, many enemies going to raid. That is fine. Tech advance, mass production, and they've gone on to the threshing machine, also fine. Okay, let's get some more upgrades. Again, including the all-important upgrading these rear areas of Russia, even though they're not super valuable, they are worth something in this empire. No territory left behind. Excellent. Believe no, we can't get top tier buildings like that apart from your home territory. Good, 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 good. You can you guys leave yet? Minus eight. This will help when he gets there. <laughs> I believe that is everyone. Just take from an infrastructure standpoint. Okay, you guys aren't this. You guys can push up to Ufa. I'm curious about those guys. If they're going to push up to these rear areas, which they may well do, and I don't have a huge amount of firepower to help out. Not until Moscow. Wow, I actually lost units there. Uh, no cavalry. It looks like it might have been a skirmish unit and an infantry unit. So let's just seek to make them up from... I mean, they're going to be regular units, aren't they? Get some mercenaries. Yeah, you can help guard this passage and raid the sea lanes. I mean, who are you? Genoa. Genoa is a steadfast ally of ours. More recruitment. Keep on going. More recruitment from Morocco. So you're nearly at full strength. As are you. You've still got a bit to go. But you can get a unit of actual guards. Get two of those, plus a unit of line. Excellent. We have two of you going to deploy to push up through northern Italy. Might get us to a spat with Venice. So, do, 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 Persia. Peace. I mean, it, they give us like a good day, sir. Like, even then, like, I try request trade. 
God does not curse the men of our republic with stupidity. We cannot agree with your proposal. Public opinion towards us, very friendly. But suppose the government, the people might like us, the government don't. Same with you, Saxony. You really don't like the idea of trading with us, which is a huge bummer. But still, our southern flank is secure. That just leaves us with the option of pushing north. Yeah, you guys keep replenishing. Everyone else just keep... <laughs> I mean, just recruit as many as you can. I'm hoping these guys just want to run around here and raid. Um, otherwise... Okay, pile end. I am going to fortify... Make sure pile end is going to be fortified. So I don't want... The... Uh, I don't want Saxony to screw me over. Basically. Okay, they've abandoned. Uh, they've abandoned Memel. We don't need any more science producing buildings. You can start recruiting an army for the defense of Gdansk. You men can. Push towards your Garva. You're actually not. You're not actually that far gone. So you might just push straight on to Vilnius. Can you push out of Gdansk? Konigsberg, you can. So you might actually. So you're going to become a church school. Let's get these buildings repaired. You're going to become a, a industrial building. You're replenishing. Okay, yeah, you're going to also be another um, army to be built for the protection of Warsaw should Saxony turn on us, or hopefully, if Saxony... Actually, I might even keep one of you guys nearby, because if Austria goes after us, we can call in Saxony and see if we can have a bit of a combined front approach. Even so, Mr. Pinto, march on... Oh no, they intercepted us. Rats. <laughs> it's not as if my plan was to just try and more advantageously position myself in front of their army. Bottom up wasn't my plan at all. No, sir. Either way. The end is nigh. And we are going to go on the attack. Properly on the attack. Not just sit back and shoot at them. We're going to push. Well, as long as the... Well, it doesn't matter what the train is. I'm going to push. So the howitzers. Oh, you're back with quicklime. Gunners. Deploy on this raised terrain feature here. Infantry. Form line for battle. Missed one. Grenadiers and skirmishers on each flank. Let's put my carabiner and my light horse together. A regiment of horse on the right. Make sure we sh aim our... Well, we don't really have to worry so much about primary targets. The enemy does have... A considerable amount of heavy cavalry which I would be lying if I said it wasn't a problem at all so let's pull my cavalry back my carabiner shooting against the SARS not a bad result Okay, right, let's actually fold this flank around. Get my howitzers to limber up. Do 
charge into the back of the light horse. Push up my regular line. Get my cavalry back out on the flank. Get my howitzers way out of the way. It's probably... Okay, they're really starting to push their heavy cavalry around our flank. Okay, I've gone into my expats. Okay, you guys need to position yourselves against these reinforcements should they come in. Now we're able to actually snipe their cavalry. Okay, you men form up. They're going to seek to try and charge our line, but we're getting some good close range volleys in. Push our cavalry back out because they've redeployed. Drop in the square because there's their guard infantry coming in. Bring my general over to keep this area happy. Where's my my howitzers? Get them back into the line. So what I want. Is for you guys to load and fire and pour musket musketry the flank of the enemy just to try and get them to fall back. Guerrilla mercenaries, okay right. Dart my light cab over. You guys pull back. If we can get the howitzers into a good position they can support against those guys. Yeah, you can go for the mercenaries. You guys ignore the mercenaries for now. Regiment of Horse, go for the General. There's more mercenaries back there, but they're gonna, not going to protect this unit of Irregulars. They're going to get diced up. Okay, you men want to just slam into the back of this cluster here. If we can take out their general, that would be very, very advantageous for us. How it says unlimber. There goes the general. Excellent. Push on here. Get my cavalry to push onto that unit of guerrilla mercenaries. The guard of Chaval have been pushed back. You men get out of square. Get into position. Okay, you men form a new line. Okay. If you guys could shoot at them, and if you guys could drop shots here against the 12th, that would be very useful. Focus on artillery fire, it's kind of, they've kind of been shooting it. Eh, whoever they like is actually a good target for now. <laughs> The general staff is sticking around. Get my carabiner to fire a will. Even advance, get my light horse. Try to go after the 26th while they're routing. I 
the general staff is still sticking around, unless that wasn't him. No, it was. Okay, so you men advance on to this last unit of Grenadier Guards. They came back. Quick line five, just concentrate on the twelfth. There we go. Get my cavalry to chase down. Just unit of line infantry, however many they get. Might just be better off trying to smash straight into them. More quick climb against the 12th. The cavalry threats force them into square. Send my grenadiers and my cavalry into the 26th. Today, retarget the 13th. Put my send my skirmishes up just to begin sniping at the 12th. The light cavalry will only hold for so long, but that's why I want my grenadiers over here. They will deliver the proper killing power. There you go, the 12th. Cavalry over here against the 13th. Everyone's very upset. Let my hussars chase down the 26th. The infantry force advance against the 12th. Turn these guys to fire will off until they're behind the line. Howitzers, quick line, the grenadiers. Demi cannon crew, we're going to run right through them because look at them. They've abandoned the guns. Well, they've abandoned the position to engage us. Carabiner, fire a well. Carabines ready. Says ceasefire. Yeah, continue just to uh, make sure we get everyone, especially these grenadier guards. They are a wor very much a worthwhile target. motivation there. Same here against the 23rd. Nice, very nice. That's a good ratio. So you thought you were trying to get one over on us, but actually that's exactly where we wanted to go. You men replenish. So the West is going pretty much the way we want it to go. Let's get Gdynia to recruit two sloops, one to occupy Memel. Apart from that, everything's looking pretty darn good. Don't think there's anything else I really want to do. I mean, some of these upgrades are possible, but they're likely to not properly go off. Whoop. Apart from that, 
actually. You men can sally out and deal with this one unit of grenadiers. Killed 200 of my men, but we slaughtered them to a man. So you men pull back to Chikask. Victorious conquering army. You men advance towards Not Moscow, but you won't get there yet. That's actually good. Cool. Let's hit it in turn. My agents are in a good position to start converting them at least ready for our arrival. More galleons and so on. Ah, Spain is by them. <laughs> One full rank killed both their galleons. You suck, Spain. And we're going to land troops and we're going to make sure that you can't have it play such tricks again. They're going to go raiding. That is their prerogative. Kind of why I don't ever really try and upgrade anything. Uh, I went against my better judgment trying to get those upgrades up, but there we are. So they've lost their last big university, so their only real way to advance their research is to uh, steal it from us. The call and navy is about to, well, will cease. So now they want Boston, and they're offering, willing to offer me Goa, Sinda, and Raja. So they give me those territories previously plus Goa, but I'm not going to give them Boston because we own the entire region, so no. Every time I say no, it probably annoys them a little bit more. So eventually they will, they'll just declare on us. Persia's not getting involved. Can call and build up their navy enough in time for it to be wiped off the face of the earth. Your path isn't blocked, so you're you're going to Jerusalem. And you are going to Damascus, because Cairo's becoming Catholic, and actually the the lower public quarter's going up. New town emerges, Marrakesh in Morocco. We've already got a church school there. Well, they're already 100% Catholic anyway. Resistance to, resistance to foreign occupation is going to go down every turn, so we don't have to go mad with trying to keep them happy. Enemy raids. Can you leave? I mean, you need re... Your army needs reconfiguring anyway. Okay, once the government building is done, then they can move. Hey, we are doing great things. You're doing very, very great things. The people of these more, more uh, backward regions. Okay. So we're starting to teach the people of Moscow just what it means to be Catholic. You're replenishing fine. You're all at maximum. Well, as maximum as you can get. Not my home territory. No how it says yet. And you got less. There's a lot of building to get through. Good, good, good. Let's take Archangelsk. Eh, fortify it because we can. At least this area's got a military barracks, so we're actually going to be able to stand up armies or garrison here at Archangelsk pretty quick. Yeah, 
you're going to beef up your army with some extra guns. You're still recruiting and are going to keep recruiting. Okay, I'm going to take one infantry unit out and replace them with the line infantry guards. Good. So you're going to push on the Algarve. And we are probably going to fight it. You are going to push on to Vilnius. Probably are going to fight it. You. Okay, you're right. We can do a bit of a switcheroo here. So you're going to go to Gdansk. You're going to recruit that mount, that infantry again, and then some more again. You may actually build a fort here, maybe, within striking range of Breslau. Lots of raids. We got an election, which, unless there's any three stars, we're not bothered. Nope. Everyone's four star or higher, so they're all going to provide a benefit, some significantly beneficial. Let's get some of these buildings in Western Poland built. You drive forward. You drive forward. So your Garva and Korn and Vilnius will be ours. Then it's on to Minsk. I mean, yeah, Russia's done. I mean, they're, they're, they're surely done, right? And on that note, let's go over to India to make sure that we are... We are, we are continuing to uh, boost our colonial strength. Because we will need it. I mean, this is going to be fun. So you are nearly done. So you're nearly at full strength. You might be at full strength. Super. Nearly. You are at full strength, so let's get... Get one of these sloops to pick you up and drop you off Naples. Let's see if we can lure Spain into attacking us. Although, actually, no, land them here and then we'll push them into Syracuse. Destroy that fleet. Okay, you men get into here. Oh, you're waiting on this unit, I would imagine? Twelve pounders coming all the way from there. Okay, maybe line infantry guards is a bit much. You're going to get some more Cairo infantry guards because we're so close to Morocco. Something like that. Well, you may also try and get some get some guerrilla mercenaries. Good. Privateer is going to deploy down. And you're going to push up. So we're going to end the episode on the attack on Vilnius. It's unfortified. So we will be able to easily sweep in and knock them out, despite a large concentration of elite troops. However, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing destruction of the Russian Empire. Cheers everyone. Mm -hmm.